how to combine multiple text layers in Affinity Designer. Key thing is, use the Move tool, drag over all of the text layers. You can see that all selected in the Layers panel. Then go to Layer, and you can go down to Geometry and Add. Simple as that, so they're all added into a single design, single curve. Now they're not text anymore, you can't modify them. But what you can then do is set the fill, so click there, and you can set that to red or green. With version two, you've got another option, a really nice option, and this one, again, all the text layers need to be selected. But you can go down here to Shape Builder. Now there's a number of options, and I've done a video on the Shape Builder, so I'm not gonna show every one of these options, but I'm gonna go with the third option, which creates the design, but also leaves the original, which is very useful, so you can combine them in multiple ways. Also, I'm gonna go with freehand, because I just like to go through it, and if you use a line, sometimes you accidentally select something you don't wanna select. So let's just do it. So let's go over here and just drag across, and you can see as you drag across, you've got the E there and then the X, so I select that, and then I can drag down here and I can set parts of that, set parts of that, and then I can release. Now they're still all selected, so you might think, oh, you know what, I've got that design. But now what I can do, I can go over to this T and I can set maybe that area as well. Select that area, that area, and just go over here and set that. I just want that part of the text and maybe that part and that part and release. And I can do the same. I can repeat that multiple times, build up all kinds of complex designs simply by hovering over these different shapes. Just do it repeatedly. Now, any point, of course, you can always deselect any of those curves. You don't have to keep them. So you can just remove them. You can just hover over there, just create another one. Just maybe part, just the T's, just there. Just want that part. Each and every one can then be, of course, selected individually. And you can see there, Move Tool. If I just move that over there, you've just got that T design there. And again, you can always then just set it to a different color. Maybe select another one. Select that. Change the color, it lets you. Sometimes it <laughs> just seems to completely ignore, but you can see, you can then move it over there. And of course, then what you can do, you've got all these layers. You can also go to effects, warp them all separately, but still keep the original text there and they can still be then selected and again, built up into different shapes. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.